Hi everyone, my name is Joe and I'm from Toronto, Ontario, Canada and this is my contribution to the It Gets Better video project that was started by Dan Savage. Um, I've been considering doing this video for a while and one of my mentors has actually encouraged me to try and do this video as well because he wanted me to show that it's really fun to be yourself because it seems like I do it so well. Um, I had some initial reservations about doing this project. I first off didn't even know what to say and even if I did find the words to convey I didn't know if what I had to say would really make a difference because there's so many great PSAs and videos from the It Gets Better project out, that was out there and I don't know if what I had to say would really add to that gigantic collective of messages. But then I saw the episode of Glee Tonight, which um, I'm hoping many of you have seen as well, where um, the openly gay kid uh, in high school, Kurt Hummel, got taunted and teased and terrorized by another individual because he was gay. And it brought back a lot of memories for me. Um, memories, emotions, feelings of uh, that I went through when I was being taunted and teased and terrorized for being gay as well. And I realized that what I had to say along with what everyone else has to say before and after uh, this video is important to tell, to say, and hopefully, you know, if you, the viewer of this video, uh, if, if viewing this message and all the other messages uh, stops you from committing suicide, then it's well worth it. So I wanted to start off um, my, uh, my message by saying that I actually have considered committing suicide. Um, it happened while I was in elementary school. I was, throughout my, element, uh, throughout my elementary school life, I have been, uh, been made fun of for being very girly and for being a crybaby and uh, I've been mocked for the way I walk and talk and for basically the way I am. And one day in grade six, I was being taunted and teased and terrorized mercilessly uh, all throughout the day and the teacher was not doing anything about it and I just couldn't take it anymore so I crawled in my classroom closet I carried in a plastic knife and I just wanted to end it all and I don't know if I actually tried to go through with it because I was crying so much, but I know that one of my classmates, one of my friends, actually opened the door, pulled me up, and whatever she said or did, I can't remember exactly what, but whatever she said or did stopped me from proceeding on that thought. And I haven't really thought about committing suicide since. I have thought about things like, why is my life like this? Why am I? Why am I the way? Why am I this way? If I'm being treated this way, I've had those thoughts, but I never went back to suicide, because I look at my life right now, and if I had ended my life that day in grade six, I would have missed out on so many things that I have done since then so many opportunities, so many achievements. Um, for instance, if I had killed myself, I would never have come out in my high school, which was an all-boys Catholic high school. I would never have um, gone to university to complete my degree in forensic science and psychology. I would never have had the opportunity to talk about my experiences growing up as a gay man um, while volunteering at my school's uh, sexual education and peer counseling center, which would pave the way to creating a queer student group at 
uh, the campus I was at because there was none when I started there. I, if I kill myself, I would never have had the opportunity to continue telling my stories in the context of educating uh, elementary and high school kids about homophobia and discrimination towards the queer community through Planned Parenthood of Toronto's uh, Teens Educating and Confronting Homophobia program. If I had ended my life, I would never have um, found out my passion for uh, working in the social work, uh, social work field, uh, working with homeless people and people who've had their lives turned upside down and realize the impact that I had in, um, in some of my clients' lives. If I had ended my life, I would never have had the chance to publish stories that I had written. And one of those stories ended up in a queer youth anthology that ended up winning a Lambda Literary Award, which was a prestigious queer literary honor uh, for that anthology. Um, if I never, uh, if I ended my life, I would never have taken chances like uh, running in the Mr. Leatherman Toronto competition last year, where despite my defiant flamboyance and lack of butchiness, I somehow managed to make it to, uh, make it as the first runner up uh, for a competition that's usually reserved for very manly men. Um, there are so many possibilities out there that uh, you could enjoy uh, once you get out of elementary and high school, but you can't enjoy those possibilities if you end your life right now. I know it seems really hard uh, considering right now you're knee deep in darkness and crap and negativity, but you will reach the end uh, the light at the end of the tunnel. It really does get better. And realize that you're not alone. If you want to do something about it while, uh, rather than just wait or rather than just take in the uh, abuse from bullies, try to talk to people around you that you can trust. Um, some amongst your friends or your family or your teachers or someone in your school. Um, if you can't, tr if you don't feel like you can trust anyone, that's fine. If there's any queer organizations out there, try contacting them and talking to them. If there's nothing like that in your area, try contacting things like the Trevor Project for the U.S. or Kids Help Line, Kids, the Kids Help phone line in the in Canada, or if you're on in Ontario, the LGBT Youth Line. There are so many resources out there. Um, to help you through this and to help you realize again that you're not alone. And again, like I said, it does get better, but you have to realize that um, it gets better if you don't let those bullies win. If you don't let those bullies, if you don't let those bullies um, lead you to believe that your life is worthless because you're lesbian, gay, or bisexual, or trans, or queer, or questioning. Show them. Show them that you are worth living. Show them that um, your life is your own and that you will not let other people dictate your life by continuing to live. Don't let the bullies win by ending your life. A lot of people will appreciate uh, appreciate you for being who you are and for standing up for who you are. I remember when I was competing for the Mr. Leatherman Toronto competition last year and a lot of Leathermen did not take me seriously because I was so flamboyant. But I told them that, I told them, if you can't accept me for who I am, well, this is all I have to say. I'm here. I'm very, very queer, and I am not going anywhere. And I gained a lot of respect for saying that. And I gained even more respect for staying true to that statement. And I really hope that you stay true to that statement too. Because you know what? Your life is worth it.